the replay of this game is brought to you by the friendly staff at Hometown Pharmacy. Hometown Pharmacy is the one stop in Donovan for all your medical needs. Everything from vaccinations, to vitamins and supplements, to medical equipment, and medications. Refills can be requested online or by using their mobile app, and deliveries are available within the city limits. Hometown Pharmacy, proudly supporting the Dons and Donuts this season. Come experience the difference a hometown pharmacy makes. And now for your starting lineups for the Couch Lady Indians. Five foot five sophomore, number one. All right, the starters for the Couch Lady Indians will be Casey Beal, five five sophomore, Emily Beal, a five two junior, Octavia Lowry, a five eight junior, Gracie Chester, a five seven sophomore, and Michaela Morgan, a five six junior. So their tallest player at 5'8", so the Donettes are going to have a little bit of a height advantage over Couch. Starting tonight for Coach Kirk Conister and Assistant Coach Rose Cordy, the, uh, Erica Payne getting her first start of the year. She's starting in place of uh, Savannah Aaron tonight. She's a 5'7", senior. Haley Beal, a 5'9", junior. Jayla Ella, 5'8", senior. And Shaylee Thicken. 511 senior, along with Paige Eddington, a 57 sophomore. So Coach Conister going with uh, Erica Payne tonight instead of uh, Savannah Aaron to start with. So it's time to get the varsity game underway here at Donovan. We're at uh, Donovan's playing their first home game. Hopefully they'll come out uh, wound up and ready to go. Because the other night at Malden, boy, I'll tell you what, they just. Really struggled all night long, and we're lucky to get out of there with a win. Couch is dressed in red, trimmed in black and white, and they will go from right to left as you look at your radio dial. And the Donets will go from left to right there in their home whites, trimmed in black and gold. And the ball is tipped into the back court, and it's going to be out of bounds off of the Donets, so Couch will have the first, uh, first possession. And it's going to be right underneath their basket. And it's going to be Gracie Chester to throw it in. Donettes are going to start out in man-to-man -man defense. Inbounds pass comes into Beal. Out to Lowry out front. Haley Beal has got the uh, duty of guarding Lowry. She dribbles in. She's open from about 10 feet. It comes up short. And Jayla Ellis clears the board for the Donettes. Couch drops back. And they played a zone in the JV game, and that's what they're going to do here as well. A 2 1 2 or a 2 3. The Donettes had a lot of trouble with that zone at Malden the other night. Because I don't think Couch is going to be nearly as quick as the Lady Wave were. And they get it in the middle. Eddington open wide open, shot from about eight feet, a little too hard. And here comes Lowry with the rebound. Passes the head underneath and right through the hands of Emily Beal. And we've got two Beals playing for Couch, and their name's spelled B E A L. And Haley Beal for the Donettes is B-E-A-L-E. -E. And Haley Beal will handle the point for the Donettes. Right wing to Ella, baseline to Eddington. Back to Ella on the wing. Skip pass cross court to Erica Payne. She's open at the free throw line. Her jumper up, no good. Ball tipped around, and Lowry's got it again. And I remember this from last year. Their guard leaks out to the other end as soon as the Donettes shoot the ball. And it was uh, Emily Beal again. And Lowry tried to throw a baseball pass and threw it over her head out of bounds. So Donette's got to make sure Haley Beal or somebody, if she's down below the free throw line, has got to rotate back or they're going to be shooting layups. They've got a different coach this year. Don't have any idea what her name is. Uh, actually, there's a man and a woman down there. Good move by Eddington in the paint. Puts it up no good, but we got a foul. And that one's going to go on. Casey, Be Casey Beal, it's either Casey or Cassie, it's K-A-S-I. I may call her both, so. <laughs> and Eddington will be at the free throw line. She, last year, was a really good free throw shooter, but this year, so far, she's only shooting at 42%. This one is good. It's the front of the rim, the back of the rim, the backboard, and falls in. So the Donettes lead it one to nothing. 6.36 to play in the first quarter. Eddington eyes up the second one, puts it in the air, and this one's good. So she gets two, and Lowry quickly into the front court with the ball, met by Beal at the three-point line. Reverses her dribble, goes to the left side. Still got her dribble. Shot blocked, and it's picked up off the floor by Shaylee Thickey. I'm, I don't know if Beal or Eddington got a hand on that, but one of them did. The Donets with a chance to build on a 2-0 lead. 
and now they're, they're going to call a foul. And that's going to be the second one on Beal, Casey Beal. And it looks like to me the, the lady is actually the head coach. There's a man on the bench where the lady goes down to get a substitute. It's going to be number three, Samantha Schnallis, 5'6", senior. And Beal has to go to the bench with those two fouls already. But again, the Donettes are running that same play, and that pass was definitely forced. Vicky takes it into the paint, and it's knocked away from behind, and it's going to be picked up and stolen by Emily Beal. She's trying to beat it. She double dribbled there and got away with it. How in the world can you do that? And Erica Payne's going to steal it back from her. Going in on the left side, left-handed layup, no good. And Haley Beal follows it up, no good. And finally, they get the rebound, and Emily Beal never even come back down to this end of the floor. So they have got to make sure that they stay back. Lowry waits on the traffic. Clear brings it into the front court. The right wing to Beal. Beal throws it inside. The ball tipped, and it's going to go out of bounds. It was tipped first by Erica Payne, and then Shay Lee Ficky got a hand on it. Well, Couch will inbound underneath their own basket. It'll be Gracie Chester to throw it in. And the ball is knocked around, and Chester ends up catching it before she even gets back inbounds. And that'll be a turnover on Couch. With 5.44 to go in the first quarter, it's 2 to nothing. In favor of the Donettes. Haley Beal, right side to Elif, back to Beal. The other side to Erica Payne on the left wing. In the paint to Eddington. Fakes and goes in and puts it up and in. Uh, Eddington with all four, and it's 4 nothing Donettes. If they can get the ball there, and they go for that little pump fake, which Paige is really good at that. She, uh, a lot of high school kids won't use that pump fake, but she gets that girl in the air and gets around her. You know, the other defensive man didn't get there in time to shut her off. So she's got four per early points, and we got a timeout, but it's a short one. We're going to keep it here. Uh, the Donets lead it four to nothing, with 5:21 left in the first quarter. So they've held couch scoreless for two minutes and 39 seconds, while getting two free throws and one two, uh, one uh, field goal from Paige Eddington. Paige still recovering from that uh, appendicitis and. She hadn't looked like herself in the first couple of games, but here in the first couple of minutes, she's looking more like she looked last year, as I think she averaged about 17, 18 points a game last year. And so far this game, this year, in the first two games, she's only averaged five and a half points. And Coach Cronister really gives me some good stats here. He's even got the minutes played, and she has only played 48 minutes compared to 72 minutes by Haley Bill and Jayla Elif, and 64 by Shaylee Fickey. So. Now, the other night, she did get in foul trouble. Backdoor pass, Beal's wide open and puts it up and in. Defense went to sleep that time on Beal. She hit a back, got backdoor, and Lowry hit her from the head of the key. So it's 4-2, to two, down to the five-minute mark. Ellis passes. Oh, what? Hmm. Okay, well, they called the travel on Jayla Ellis, and she didn't even move. <laughs> her pass was deflected, but... Lowry dribbles over to the right side. Now between the circles, she gives it to Sch uh, Schnallis. Back to Lowry between the legs, gets the screen, goes down. A little finger roll up and good. Somebody's got to pick her up. If, uh, if Haley Beals Gardner, she gets screened off, somebody's got to step over, and they didn't do it there. Vicky at the free throw line. Down low to Eddington, fakes, goes in, puts a shot up. Uh, no good, but she's fouled. And this one's going to go on number 30, Michaela Morgan, I believe. And that's three team fouls. And Eddington is aggressive here in the first uh, three and a half minutes. A lot more aggressive than she had been in the first two games. She's two out of two at the free throw line. Steps on this one, and it's good. Steps, on, steps into this one and makes it again. So she has all five for the Donettes. And they go back up by one. This one on the way, it's good. It's six to four Donettes, they drop back. Savannah Aaron has checked into the game for Erica Payne. Lowry back door again, Beal gets away from her man. She, and she scores again. She's just roaming around. They're not really running any offense except maybe for a screen for Lowry and Beal's just moving on her own, and she's got to open a couple times back door. And Ella throws a bad pass, but Beal does a nice job to gather it, and they reset now. Aaron on the right wing. Now to Ficky at the free throw line. 
He takes it back to Beal, right side to Savannah Aaron. Down low, Thickey. She turns, faces, shot no good. And the rebound comes down to Schnallis. Gives it to Lowry, right down the middle of the floor. She stops, going to fire three, and it's good. You cannot leave her open for a second. And they did. Now Coach Conister calls a timeout. His couch is on a 9-2 run. With 3.40 left in the first quarter, we'll take a 30-second break and be back with more Donetsk basketball on KYEC 88.3 FM. Donetsk jumped out to a 4 0 lead, but since then, Couch has run off a 9 2 run. And that time, Lowry just come right down the middle, stopped about two steps from the three point line. And Aaron backed off over just a hair, and she nailed that thing from way downtown. And she's got five points now. You don't want to see her get going, that's for sure. Beal gives it left wing to Ella, now baseline to Aaron. In the paint, Eddington. She's going to take it in, go up for the shot, no good. And we're going to have another foul. And we'll see. Number 24, that is Gracie Chester, picks up her first. And Eddington back to the free throw line again. She's already been there four times early in the ball game. And she's made all four. This one up and around and out, no good. Score stays 9-6. 3.27 to go in the first quarter. Couch up by three. Next one by Eddington. There's nothing but net. She has all seven points, and it's nine to seven. Lowry handling out front. And Aaron goes for the steal, and they get around her. She hands it off to Schnallis, three-pointer up, and no good. And a good rebound by Eddington. Outlet pass to Ella. Aaron cannot go, you can't go for that steal on Lowry because she'll just go right around you. Luckily, she didn't shoot the basketball. Thickey out front, Beal fakes the three-pointer, dribbles in, left elbow jumper, up and good for Haley Beal. <laughs> nice move there by Haley Beal. Lowry quickly into the front court, lobs it down to Beal, reverse layup up, no good. Elif was Gardner, but she didn't, wasn't watching the ball. She was just looking at her man. And Beal almost got another easy one. Nine to nine. 2.40 left first quarter. Donetsk with a basketball. Elif wide open, three, no good. And Savannah Aaron battling for the rebound. And they're going to call a foul, I think, on Savannah Aaron. Oh, they're going to call it on Octavia Lowry. They went to the floor there, had, both had hands on the ball. And we got Erica Payne coming back in. This time she comes in for Jayla Elif. And Donetsk will inbound underneath their own basket. And uh, Eddington right through her hands. Schnallis picks it up. Her pass almost intercepted. Here comes Lowry. Two on three. Goes down. Wild shot. No good. And Erica Payne battling for the rebound. Comes away with it. That is five team fouls already on couch. And they're going to get a steal. And then Beal's going to foul Lowry. But it was a good thing because Beal had already took off down the floor. They would have had a wide open layup if she hadn't committed the foul. That's the first foul on the Donettes. We went almost six minutes without committing the foul. Couch is only two away from putting the Donettes in the bonus already. Lowry dribbles to the right side, picks up her dribble, passes it into Morgan, hands it off to Schnallis, goes in an offensive foul. Drawn by Paige Eddington on uh, Samantha Schnallis. Nice job by Eddington to get in there and get her feet set. And now Jacqueline Friends comes to the scores table. She's going to check in the next dead ball. Beal gets around Beal. Beal gets around Beal. And now, and they got a wide open layup because Beal just went after the steal, didn't get it, and took off to the other end. Somebody's got to get back. I mean, she has just taken off the other end. She didn't get the steal. She stayed on the other side of half court. 
to me, that's not basketball, but if that's the way you want to play, I guess that's the way you want to play it. But Don S got to take advantage of being five on four. Eddington is going to go up for the rebound, and she has to try to for a shot by uh, Savannah Aaron was an air ball. Friend comes in for Haley Beal. And uh, Eddington trying to save it, tried to throw it back out front, and it went out of bounds over on the side. So Couch with a two-point lead in the ball with 1.15 to go in the first quarter. Lowry gets a screen but doesn't take it. Jacob Friend Gardner gives it to Morgan. Right back to Lowry, almost out at the volleyball line. Puts it on the floor. They help good, give it to Beal. Beal dribbles in the paint, she carried, oh! <laughs> You can tell what the Donovan fans saw that call. That was a that was a carry there, but they call a foul on on uh, Savannah Aaron. Her first. She carried the ball before she ever got bumped. Inbounds pass comes to Morgan. She'll give it back to Lowry. Ball's going to be in Lowry's hands. Lowry or Beal about 99% of the time, I think. Lowry goes right side to Schnallis. Back to Lowry. Out front between the circles. Now she passes to Snollis. Fires up a long three. And, oh, my gosh. She banked it in. There we go again. I hate to bank shot three-pointers, folks. Oh, they only give her two. I guess she was on the line. They only got 13 on the board. So it was a two. And back at the other end, we got another foul on Emily Beal. That's her first. But that is 17 fouls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to put Erica Payne at the free throw line. She'll be the first Donette to go to the free throw line besides Paige Eddings and so far. Eddings got seven points, and five of those are from the free throw line. Front end of the one-on-one -on -one by Payne. It's up, and it's good. Donettes are only shooting 40% as a team so far in the first two games, but this one's short. It's 13 to 10 with 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Couch up by three. Chester got the rebound, and of course she hands it to Lowry. Bounces to Beal. Beal's gonna take it into the paint. Loose on the floor, but she tips it back out to Lowry, and she gets a screen. She's open again, and it's good again. I mean, she doesn't have to have much room, but you got to, you got to fight through that screen. You make them move. There's another foul on Beal. This one's the second one on Emily Beal. Casey Beal already on the bench with two. Beal's just trying to knock it away and run to the other end. Shoot a layup, and she's been getting whistled for it. That uh, team foul number eight. So it's 17 to 10 now after that three-pointer by Lowry. Payne's free throw is no good, and now they're Resorted back to that old way of shooting free throws. Lowry throws it up midcourt off the backboard. That's the end of the first quarter. And after trailing early, the Couch Lady Indians have overtaken the Donettes, and they lead it 17-10 at the end of the first quarter. We'll be back after the 60-second break. Stay with us. Couch leads 17-10. We start the second quarter. They have the ball first. They've got Lowry, Schnallis, Chester, Morgan, and uh, Casey Beal comes back in. She's playing with two fouls, and Emily Beal has uh, come out of the game, and she's got two fouls. And we got a three-second call 
against Gracie Chester. Donets have Ella, Beal, Ficky, Aaron, and Eddington. Got to try to get Eddington back in the act here. Beal open at the head of the key, three-pointer up, hits the front of the rim, the backboard, and goes in. Haley Beal with her second bucket, a two and a three, and it's 17-13. And Beal guarding Lowry now. Gives it to Beal on the right wing. Back to Lowry between the circles. She crossover dribbles down into the paint, and they didn't pick her up again. Shot partially blocked, ball loose, and it goes back to Lowry in the corner. She's going to put it up, and she shoots an air ball, and it goes all the way across, and Chester gets it. Throws it back out front to Beal. Long three-pointer up, no good. And Paige Eddington with a rebound. She'll hand it back to Haley Beal. Seven minutes to go in the second quarter, 17-13 couch. Over to Ella, fakes the three, gives it in the corner to Aaron. Bounces down low to Ficky, turns, puts it up, no good, and another foul. And the Donette's going to shoot some more. That will be team foul number nine. So this last 6.53 after this trip to the free throw line, every time... Couch commits a foul. The Donettes will be shooting two. Ficky's free throw is up and no good. And let's see, Ficky is shooting 55%, and she last year was an excellent free throw shooter as well. So I don't know if it's concentration or what. She does get the second one. That is her first point. And it cuts the lead to three. Beal dribbles down the right side. Now she comes back out in the corner. Stops on the wing. Throws it out front to Schnallis. And we've got a travel on Schnallis out front. They need to make her handle the ball as much as possible. As she has turned it over a couple of times already. So Donettes get it back. They've scored the first four points here in the second quarter. And we've got uh, six and a half minutes to go. And the Donettes trailing by three. Jayla Elliff on the right wing. Goes baseline to Eddington. Out front to Beal. Beal. Oh, she tries to go up and she's stripped by Cassie Beal. And Lowry comes out with it. Don't back off of her. They back off of her again. There she goes again. This one no good. And Eddington with a rebound. She didn't miss that one by very much, but Elliff wasn't guarding her, so she just backed off of her. you got to stay. Somebody's got to stay on her if you're close to her until their man gets back on them. I'd leave any of those other girls open before I would her. Beal open again at the head of the key. Puts it up and in. He's on the line that time, so it's a two. But the Donets back within one, 17-16. Low down, low to Beal, and a shot blocked by Shaylee Ficky. Eddington comes out with it. And she goes behind the back, and Beal knocks it away from her. Beal gives it to Lowry. Lowry's going to take it into the paint. Shot up, no good, but Haley Beal fouls it. And that's two on Haley Beal. Well, they've got, let's see. I am missing two points somewhere. They got 17 all on the board. I actually thought it was, it's 17-16. Uh, okay, Erica Payne made one free throw. There it is, it is 17-16. Lowry shot the free throw, and that's her first one of the game. And I, I didn't see the first one. She must have missed it. And Thicky throws the ball away, trying to hit the outlet man, Elif, and they weren't going to run there anyway. So they've still got 17-16 up, so she must have missed both free throws. I'm surprised at that, the way she can shoot the basketball. She dribbles, Lowry dribbles over to the right side, picked up by Eddington on the screen. Into the paint. Makes a shot, but they're going to call a foul on Eddington before the shot. And that is Eddington's first foul. Team foul number four on the Donette. So Chester will throw it in underneath the basket. And the inbounds pass is tipped away. And going to the floor to pick it up is Beal, uh, Cassie Beal. And uh, when she does, she is on the out-of-bounds line. Well, Donettes get it back again, so Couch... Doing the same thing they did in the first quarter. They didn't score for about the first three minutes. And they haven't scored the first three minutes here. And the Donettes have scored six. And they get the ball inside to Ficky. And Eddington hit her and she's fouled again. Number 24. Now 
That is two on Chester. She on, uh, joins the Beal sisters with two apiece. And this is already going to be free throws number 12 and 13 for the Donettes. And the first one is no good. Here we go again. If they'd have made half their free throws that they've missed, half the ones they've missed, they'd be ahead. Second one's good. Well, she's been there twice and split the pair both times. Now we're tied at 17. 5.05 to go in the first half. Lowry gets a screen. Dribbles in, stops on the baseline. Then nice job by Figgy, but they give it to Chester wide open underneath, and she missed with the left hand. And Paige Eddington gets the rebound. That's what I'm saying. I think I'd let any of those other girls shoot the ball besides Lowry, even if they're right underneath the basket, because she missed an easy one there. Pass in the lane. Ficky open up off the glass and in. The assist come from Savannah Aaron on the left wing, and the Donettes have regained the lead 19-17 with 440 left in the first half. Full timeout, so we'll take a 60-second break, and we'll be back with more Donettes basketball. Stay with us. Did Lowry make one of those free throws a while ago? Did Lowry make one of those free throws a while ago or did she miss both of them? She missed, she missed both of them? I'm missing a point somewhere. There's no, hey. Is number three? Number three got three points. Are you keeping the points? They give her a three on that? Okay. Okay, well, I was uh, figuring up my point total here, and I was one short on the couch, and they did give Schnall, and they, they leave Octavia open again, and she misses it. And on the rebound, Eddington and Beal tie up. But uh, they put two points on the scoreboard first when Schnallis made that one back in the first quarter. And... Uh, but they, evidently they changed it. So uh, I asked somebody and they had her for three points. So that must be where the point come from. But it's 1917 Donettes and they get it on the alternating possession. Beal gives it to Savannah Aaron. Skip pass cross court to Elif who checked back in during timeout. Beal kicks it out to Aaron. Jump her up and no good. And Finky has it tipped out of her hands and Lowry saves it from going out of bounds. They better turn around. They didn't pick her up and she nails another one. She just dribbles up and stop, and the defense is not even looking at her. Whoever's closest to her has got to pick her up. I don't care if it's their man or not. They've got to pick her up until, the, until whoever's gardener gets back on her. You cannot leave her open. I mean, it's, it's just that simple. Aaron's going to try another three. This one's in and out. Eddington rebounds underneath and puts it in. She's got nine to lead to Donettes, and it's 21-20. Lowry picks it up, and Aaron picks her up this time. She picks up the dribble. Now she's got it back from Beal. Back to Beal on the left wing, and Beal dribbles back towards the center. Goes in the corner to Chester. Chester bounces in the middle and is stolen away. Elif knocks it away, and it goes right to Haley Beal. And I believe Beal's, the other Beal on the couch is going to pick up her third. That's kind of a frustration foul. And we also had uh, Emily Beal back in the game there during the timeout along with uh, number 32, Jesse O'Neill, and now number 43, Gracie James, 5'4 sophomore checks in. So they've got some new girls in there, and Haley Bill will be going to the free throw line. She has seven points here in the first half, and she'll be shooting two. Donnett's lead, 21-20, 323 to go. Bill's free throw is good. Uh, so far on the season, Beal, she's only shot three and made one, so 33%. So she makes both of them, so that'll up her percentage to about 60 with them two free throws. So Donetsk lead by three again, 23-20. Lowry picked up by Erica Payne, who just checked back in the ballgame. Gets around her, stops jumper from the free throw line too hard. 
Jayla Elliff goes high for the rebound, passes to Erica Payne. Payne stops on the wing. Now she's going to pop in 15. No good. And she's going to go get her own rebound. Nope, Lowry comes up with it, and Payne's going to foul her. Probably shouldn't have shot that one there with nobody down to rebounds. Uh, about three of the other girls, Donettes, hadn't made it down yet. Uh, Eddington was on the offside, but that's team foul number five on the Donettes, so they will inbound it with three minutes left in the first half. 23-20, Donettes lead. Lowry dribbles over and hands off to Emily Beal, and she gives it to O'Neill, and now they're going to run a weave. And Lowry goes in, and Elliff tries to draw a charge on her down on the baseline, but they're going to say Elliff didn't get there in time. That'll be Elliff's first foul. Still no free throws, but the next one will put Couch in the bonus. That's team foul number six. Well, Chester will inbound underneath their own basket. And she throws it into James, and James loses it out of bounds, I believe, or they're going to call a foul on Haley Beal. Oh my goodness, if they did, that's, oh, that's her third foul. So here comes Jaquelin Friend in for Haley Beal. <clears throat> and it will be Gracie James, 5'4", sophomore at the free throw line, shooting a one and one Free throw up, no good. Lowry with the offensive rebound, turns, puts it up and in. You got a long rebound there that come off the boards hard. And, Donetz couldn't get the rebound. 23-22 now. Payne gives it to Friend. Back to Payne. Left side to Elliff. She's going to try a three. It's short. And a good block out there by Couch. And Chester gets the rebound. Gives it to Lowry. Couch with a chance to regain the lead here. She dribbles to the left side. They're looking to run a weave. She doesn't hand it off. Now she dribbles baseline. Backs it back out. Picks up her dribble. Gives it to O'Neill. O'Neill dribbles over. Picked up by Eddington. Now dribbles all the way to the right side. And her pass in the middle. Knocked away momentarily, but Chester gets it back. And goes up for the shot. And Shaylee Fickey fouls her. And if she went straight up, she'd have blocked the shot. But her hand come down. That's the first one on Fickey. And that will put Gracie Chester at the free throw line. And she'll be shooting two. They're 0 for 3 at the free throw line so far. And that <laughs> She missed that one so bad it almost stuck on the back of the rim and then it come back and fell in. That was a brick that went in. This one off the back iron, Ellis rebounds. And then Lowry steals it from her. Gonna back it out, you gotta stay on her, Shayla. Shaylee, Chester, bay jump, baseline jumper, no good. And Eddington with another rebound. Out of the pass to French, she got Finky up ahead, but she get, gets it to her in time. Finky lets the defense go by and she missed it. And then we're gonna have an over the back foul. Think he missed an easy one, and then we get a foul on the Donettes, and they're going to go to the other end and shoot a one-on-one -on -one and have a chance to take the lead again. That was on Erica Payne, her second. Friend needed to have gotten that to Thicky a little bit sooner, and she wouldn't have had to give the fake and let the Lowry fly by. Free throw up and good for Jesse O'Neill, her first point. This one no good, and Eddington rebounds. So they go back up by one, 24-23. Erica Payne, cross court. Boy, she got to get some zip on that pass. Beal should have stole that. Friend open on the baseline, doesn't take it. And then O'Neill takes it away from her. Throw down into the middle of the floor. It's loose, still loose. And they're going to call it over and back on Friend, but she never had uh, possession of the ball in the front court. She was just going to get it, but they call it anyway, so it'll be Couch's basketball. And we got a foul on O'Neill. Because I don't know what she was doing. She was on the opposite side of the way Lowry went on the screen and she just bumped, uh, I think it was Eddington to the floor. No free throws, that was a player control foul. Uh, 
Casey Beal tried to come back into the game there before the official waved her in, so they make her go back to the bench. The Donettes have the ball with 105 left in the first half, and they trail 24-23. Elif and Painter out near the volleyball line. I don't know if they're going to go for one shot here or what, but they better make sure they get some zip on that pass if they throw it cross court. Looks like they're going to try to go for the last shot here. Elif has it. Lowry up close enough now. She's got a guard her. Eddington will throw it back out, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Lowry. She got a hand on it. Now, Schnallis is going to come in instead of Beal. Beal's got three fouls. I don't know why the coach would have sent her back in anyway. But it's going to be Donette's ball at midcourt. Jayla Elif gets it into Erica Payne in the backcourt. Now to Elif across the timeline. Lowry up on her. Lowry's still in the zone. Elif, you got to get rid of it. And Lowry tied her up. Got to be a little stronger than that. And it's going to be Couch's basketball with 32 seconds left. She just got double teamed out there in her midcourt. All she had to do was step around and throw one of the pass, bounce passes beside him, but she didn't do it. He got tied up. Lowry dribbles to the left side. Payne stays with her. Back to Snawla. Snawla dribbles ahead of the key ball, knocked away. It's picked up by Beal. Beal goes in, and we're going to have a block and foul on Savannah Aaron. Well, the fouls have definitely evened up. That is two, four, six, eight, ten. I believe that's ten, so it's going to be two shots for, I believe that's Emily Beal out there shooting. Can't, one of them's number one, one of them's number 11. She's got long hair and a ponytail. I believe it's Emily Beal. And her free throw is good. She's got seven. And the lead up to two, 25-23. The Donettes had a 23-20 lead, but as she makes her second one, they've scored six in a row now. Donettes need a bucket here before halftime. Nine seconds to go. Payne guarded by Lowry. Over to Ella. Ella for a long three-pointer up, no good. And rebound underneath by Ficky, and she throws it up and gets fouled before the buzzer. And she'll get a couple of free throws. And it was definitely before the buzzer went off. So Ficky will shoot two here with the Donets trailing 26-23. I think that foul was on Schnallis. I'm not sure. And Ficky misses a free throw. Got to make them free throws. Next one is up and it's good. So she splits the pair again. And uh, that makes the halftime score couch 26 and the Donettes uh, 24. And it's the Beal sisters and Lowry and uh, Morgan and Chester for couch. Both teams actually have their starters that start this game on the floor as we begin the third quarter. 26-24. Donetz with the ball. Bounce pass to Elif on the right wing. Cross court to Payne. Down on the baseline. Ficky back to Erica Payne. Now ahead of the key to Beal. Now Beal got a hand. Uh, Emily Beal got a hand on the pass there. They have got some quick hands. Payne Going to dribble into the paint, and it's knocked away. She tried to dribble through that zone, and it's hard to do. That happened to way too many times the other night at Malden. And Lowry gets a screen from Casey Beal. Dribbles to the left side. And we got, I think they call five seconds on Lowry. He, he raised up five seconds. Instead of like three in the lane, she dribbled all the way down to the corner, but she was being guarded closely, so. I guess that's the call. Well, Donettes get it back. Beal out front, reverses the dribble, gets a screen. Gives it to Erica Payne. Payne loses her dribble. Beal has to go help her out. Dribbles back to the center of the floor. Beal goes for the steal. Haley Beal's open from the head of the key, and it's good. Again, she's standing on the line, so it's a two. So she's got 11 now to lead to Donettes, and we're tied at 26. She's shooting the ball well tonight. Lowry down into the paint, little runner up off the glass and good. They get it right back. She's got 15. She is an awfully good player. 
She's actually put on a little bit of weight since last year, but she's a strong girl, and she can shoot. Jayla Ella thought about the three. Goes in the corner, Erica Payne. Payne to Beal at the head of the key. Now on the left side, Thickey. Takes the shot, bounces to Eddington. Eddington puts it on the floor, it's knocked away, and she gets it over to Elf, and Elf has to dive to the floor, and she gets it away to Beal. Head of the key to Thickey, and now Beal will come back and get it, and they'll reset. Thickey wide open at the free throw line, they didn't give it to her. Don't dribble it, Jayla. <laughs> She's open for a three, doesn't take it. Back head of the key to Beal, swings it to Payne on the right side. Three pointer up, no good. Ball tipped around, and it goes to Morgan. She gives it to Lowry, and they got a two on one. She goes in, and we got a foul on Beal, and that's four. Oh, no, they're going to call it. Oh, they call an illegal screen on number 11, Emily Beal, so she's got three. I thought that was going to be the fourth one on, on uh, Haley Beal, and it would have been if there hadn't been an illegal screen first. Both teams have scored two here in the first couple of minutes of the third quarter. Jayla Elf open for three, looks good. Nope, it's short. Then Shaylee Fickey gets the rebound. Free throw line to Beal. Into the paint, little runner up and no good. Ball tipped around and Jayla Elf gets it and she's gonna be fouled by Cassie Beal and that's her fourth. As uh, she dove at Elf's feet, knocked her down. Erica Payne checks out, Savannah Aaron comes back in. It'll be Donette's ball underneath their own basket. I have that for four fouls on her. Inbounds to Ellis. We'll take it back out front to Beal, and she loses it. Saves it right before it goes out of bounds. Over on the right side, she gives it to Savannah Aaron. Skip pass left side to Ellis. Well, Donetsk can't make a three, and they're all hesitant to shoot the basketball. And that zone makes it hard to get it inside. Shaylee Fickey running back and forth from side. She give it to her. Give it. She's posted up there on, and she's bigger. Beal gets open just inside the free throw line. And they get the rebound. Cassie Beal, she stayed in the game with four fouls. Goes in, shot up off the glass and good over Fickey. That's her first two and now the Donettes down by four. 30 to 26. Beal gives the free throw line to Fickey. Out to Ella. Now to Savannah Aaron in the paint. Eddington fakes the shot, goes in, her shot up no good. And she gets her own rebound, puts it up no good, but she'll go to the free throw line. And Lowry's holding up her hand. That's only her first, second foul. Be nice if they can get some more fouls on her. No, Eddington back at the free throw line. She is five out of six so far, make that six out of seven. And she's got 10 points now. That pulls the Donets back within three. 429 to go in the third. This one is up and it's good. 30 to 28 as Lowry brings it into the front court. Dribbles right side and she's open again, but she missed the three this time. Well, they, she has got an unlimited range. I tell you, for a high school girl player, she shoot it a long ways out there. Savannah Aaron in the corner. Beal open from about 10, it's up and good. Haley Beal went through on a screen there after she passed it to the wing. And at the other end, a good pass from Cassie Beal to Emily Beal cutting down the right side. And the shot almost went in, but she draws the foul. That's on Jayla Ella for a second. And after the Donets tie it up, Couch is gonna have a chance to regain the lead here. Two shots coming from Beal. And her first one misses off the right side of the rim. That is Emily Beal. 30 to 30. Next one up, it's good. That is nine points for Emily Beal. And they go back up 31-30. Couch on top. Going to run that same play to the other side. And Beal open again. The jumper up, no good. And uh, Casey Beal with the rebound. Up the right side. Now she reverses and comes out front and hands it to Lowry. 
Donetz had a chance to take the lead, but couldn't get it done. Backdoor pass, Beal gets open underneath, throws it up, and no good. And JLL pulls down the rebound for the Donettes. 3.20 to go in the third, 31 to 30, in favor of uh, Couch Lady Indians. Aaron gives it the free throw line to Eddington, takes it down to the baseline, and we're going to have a blocking foul called. And that's going to be on, that's five, I think. Yeah, she's going to foul out. Uh, that's, uh, that's a pretty big deal, really, to tell you the truth. She's one of their hustling guards. And I think they called it on the floor. And yeah, we got Jesse O'Neill checking back in for couch. They did call it on the floor, so Donetz will be inbounded underneath their own basket. They trail by one point, 31-30. And Haley Beal will be the trigger man. Underneath, caught by Eddington. Missed it, got it back, put it up, no good. But she draws a foul again. Well, she stayed with it. Let's see who they call this one on. This one's going to be on Gracie Chester. That's her third. They've already lost Casey Beal. Emily Beal's got three, and Chester's got three. And two more free throws for Eddington, and it's good. Chance to give the Donettes the lead back here with 3.03 to go in the third quarter. Tied at 31 all. This one is up and good. Boy, she's, she's up in that free throw percentage tonight. She is 9 out of 10 from the free throw line so far. Has uh, 13 points. Lowry passes right side to O'Neal. Gets it to Beal right elbow, and uh, Haley Beal reaches in, knocks it off of uh, Emily Beal's foot, and it'll be Donette's ball. <clears throat> and they'll have a chance to build on that one-point lead. Haley Beal gives it to Savannah Aaron. They're leaving her wide open. Now to Haley Beal. She's open again on the baseline. Shot up no good. Ball loose on the floor. Jayla Elliff going after it, and it's going to go out of bounds. I think last touch by, they're going to say Elliff touched it last, and she comes up a little lame there, limping a little bit as she heads down the floor. She must have twisted her ankle or knee or something there. She is in a little bit of pain. Lowry at the head of the key. Aaron on her. Gets a screen and they give her a little bit of room, and this one's out, rounding out. And Shaylee Fickey's going to run down the rebound. Up to Eddington. Up ahead to Elliff. Elliff goes in, across the lane. Oh! They're going to call a charge on Elliff. She sidestepped Beal, but they give her the charge. That's the third one on Elliff. So that's two trips that Donnets have had a chance to uh, build on the lead and could get it done. And Elliff's going to check out, and she is in some pain. Uh, Jaqueline Friend comes in to replace her. So we're down to 2.05 left in the third quarter. It's 32-31. The Donettes still playing man-to-man. -man. Lowry dribbles over to the right side, picked up over there by Jaqueline Friend. Now she's down in the paint, little floater up no good, and she got a charge. And Savannah Aaron draws this one. So now Lowry getting in a little bit of foul trouble. She's got three. Nice job there by Savannah Aaron to come off and uh, draw the charge. And it's still 32-31, Donettes. The scoring really slowed down here in this quarter. Donettes have outscored them 8-5, and they have a one-point lead. Aaron has the ball knocked away. It's going to go out of bounds. She was holding up above her head. Lowry just reached up there and knocked it behind her, and it went out of bounds. It's Lana Aaron inbounds it to Haley Bill right near midcourt. 1.40 to go in the third quarter. Left side to Jaqueline Friend. Head of the key to Beal. She's open at the free throw line. Her jumper's up short. Got to get back. And Beal leaked out again. Lowry trying to put a move on. Goes baseline. Shot up off the glass. Won't go too hard. Paige Eddington with the rebound. <clears throat> well, both teams struggling to put the ball in the basket right now. Left side, Jaqueline Friend. Oh, man, she had Eddington wide open in the middle. And the ball tipped away, and it goes to Ficky. She's open at the free throw line, turns and shoots. No good. Gets it back, puts it up, and good. Right out in front of the basket. It bounced right back to her. And Adonis with a three-point lead. And 
Well, I think one of the players on the floor called a timeout. I think Lowry called a timeout. Coach didn't know it. And uh, we'll just, it's a short one. We'll keep it here. It's 34-31 as the Donettes have scored 10 this quarter while holding Couch to five points. Turned a two-point deficit into a three-point lead. And uh, getting close to the end of the third quarter. The only thing I don't like about the clock here at Donovan, when they take a timeout, they take the time off that's left in the quarter and count down the timeout, whether it's full or 30. 57.9 seconds left in the third quarter, and the Donettes up 34-31. Again, I want to remind everybody, tomorrow night about uh, 7.15, 7.30, I'll be back on the air to bring you the Dons and the Madrid County Central Eagles. We'll travel down to the Madrid, down in the flatlands tomorrow. And it's going to be Couch's basketball after the timeout. Lowry will get it, Savannah Aaron Gardner. Looking for the screen. Vicky picks her up. Now Savannah Aaron gets her back. Gives it to O'Neill. She bounces to Beal, and she traveled with it as she took off. That's Emily Beal. I'm telling you, if you can make somebody else handle the ball besides Lowry uh, and keep it out of her hands as much as possible, but she brings it up, and the Donnett's not applying any full court pressure, so she can bring it up, but if she ever gives it up, try to keep her from getting it back. Have a much easier time winning this game. Erica Payne come in during the timeout. Vicky Moss, Haley Bill wide open underneath the basket. They didn't see her. They're running a delay game here, hopefully looking for a layup. They didn't get it down low to Beal. She's in the lane and she throws it back out. She had three fouls on Lowry. And Lowry was on her backside there. She should have went up because I don't think she would have fouled her. If she would have, had to been four. Now Beal's got it. Gives it to Erica Payne with seven seconds left. Down low, Beal catches and lays it up and it good. The same play that she didn't shoot on, only she was a little more open. And a good way to end the third quarter. 36-31, Donets on top as we head to the fourth quarter. Five point lead. We'll be back with the fourth and final quarter after the 60 second break. Listen to Donets basketball on the home of Donovan Basketball, KYEC 88.3 FM. Keith Bowman back at the Bill L. Wright Gymnasium, and at the end of three, the Donettes, at the halftime, the Donettes were down two, but they have a five-point lead heading to the fourth quarter. It's going to be Couch's basketball. They have Lowry and O'Neal, uh, Emily Beal, Morgan, and Chester, and uh, Savannah Aaron on Lowry. Lowry has uh, 15 points in the game. She only got two in that quarter. They've done a good job, actually done a good job of team defense. Now Lowry to the paint, throws it up and in. They, as soon as I said that, they didn't do such a good job on that one. 36-33. It's Beal and Eddington, Payne, Aaron, and Thickey, and they do it again, run the same play, only this time it's Savannah Aaron that gets it from Paige Eddington, and Savannah Aaron gets her first two, and the Donettes answer right back. 7.15 to go in the ball game. It's 38-33 Donettes. That poor Chester girl and the Morgan girl have not touched the ball hardly at all in this game. And that Chester girl's working her tail off down there inside. Now she takes it down, throws up a wild shot, it goes in, and they're gonna call a blocking foul, so the bucket's gonna count.
He's not, I don't think he knows the basket went in. The other official's trying to get him. The basket went in. Uh, well, the basket's good. So he'll get a free throw here and try, try to convert the three-point play. That was Gracie Chester's first basket. And the free throw is up and no good. And Shaylee Fickey gets the rebound. Haley Beal, left wing to Savannah Aaron. And she throws a little underhanded pass. It's almost stolen by Beal. In the paint, Fickey wide open. Back on the left side to uh, Savannah Aaron. Well, Fickey used to shoot that shot. She is really hesitant. And Beal steals it away as Aaron tried to hand it off to Haley Beal. And Haley Beal goes back and stops the layup, but she also in the process picks up her fourth foul. That's two times on that trip, Savannah Aaron really did not do a good job because she picked up her dribble with nobody on her for one thing, and then she tried to hand it off to Beal, and, and Emily Beal for couch stepped in between them. And she misses the first free throw. Well, they, are, they have really struggled at the free throw line. They are four out of 12. We have uh, Ella Fan. Jaquelin Friend checking back in for Payne and we got a lane violation. She missed it, but they're going to give her another one. Uh, Payne and Aaron went out of the game. So Beal missed two, but she's going to get another one. And she makes this one, so that, that hurts. That's 10 points, uh, 10 points for Emily Beal, and it makes it 38-36. Six and a half minutes left in the game. Jaquelin Friend open on the left wing, doesn't take it. Back out to Beal. Couch looks like they're in a 1-3-1 zone now. They hand the ball out to Fickey. Now to Elif. Elif at the left uh, point there. We'll take it back out and give it to Beal. Now they're going to get out near midcourt and play catch with it. They're going to, they may make Couch come out and play man to man. I don't know. Ball back out front to Beal. Lowry comes out close enough to her to get the count started. Throws it to Fickey at the head of the key. Fickey back to Beal. They don't watch Paige Eddington right here. They can get a backdoor layup. She's being guarded by O'Neal, and she's definitely quicker than O'Neal. Ball goes into Fickey. She'll back it back out. Got to get some help. And Beal comes back and gets the basketball with 5.40 to go. Now Beal gives it to Payne and Eddington on the left wing. Down low, wide open is Friend, and there's the fourth foul on Octavia Lowry. She had to come off her man to help there, and she commits the foul. And Jacqueline Friend's going to shoot a couple free throws, but bigger than that right now, that's the fourth foul on Octavia Lowry. Whoever she's guarding, they ought to make her guard. The next time down the floor, maybe they get that fifth one on her. Jaquelin Friend looking for her first bucket, their point, and she gets it from the free throw line. That makes it 39-36, 5.33 to go in the game. Friend's second one is up and good. And a lead back to four for the Donettes. Lowry dribbles. Left side, the moving screen there, but now she throws it on the wing to Chester. Dribbles baseline, throws up a wild shot, and the Donetsk bail her out, which she has really struggled from the free throw line, but they definitely bailed her out there. And I think it'll be two shots. And that foul number two on Paige Eddington. They should have let her shot that shot, though. She was covered up. And she misses the free throw. And we got Schnallis coming back in. She's going to replace Octavia Lowry. So the Donets right now just need to kind of concentrate on Beal. She's the main scorer out there for them with uh, Lowry out and the other Beal grill already fouled out. So misses the second one. Free throw come down to Fickey. Donets with the ball and a four point lead. Elif has picked up her dribble. Haley Beal comes over and picks it up. Now back to Elif. 
Well, nobody even close to her. Now Snollis comes out on her. Beal comes around and gets the handoff. Lobs a baseline to Jaquelin Friend. Now back to Beal. Beal bounces right side to Eddington. Now baseline to Ficky. Ficky, baseline to Beal. Open jumper up and good. About 10 feet out for Haley Beal. And it's a six point lead, but they won't keep Lowry out very long. Huh? If they do, they're. Anna Steele. Eddington steals the pass that Beal tried to get down to Chester on the right block. And the Donettes have it with a six point lead. I can't believe Lowry's not back in the game. We're nearing the four minute mark in the ball game. Donettes lead by six. Haley Beal without near midcourt. Her and Jayla Ella for between the volleyball line and the midcourt line. Now they throw it to Ficky at the head of the key. She faces up, throws it back to Beal. They're looking for a back door cut here. They get it to Ficky at the head. Beal, nice move. Down to the paint, kicks it out to Friend. Now to Ficky, she's thought about shooting it, but they're gonna take it back out near midcourt, run some more clock. Beal with it to Ficky at the right elbow. Looks for the cutter, nobody open. Now she faces up again, hands it back to Beal. Left side, Jaquelin Friend. Bounces down low, Beal cutting to the basket, goes up no good, but she's fouled. That foul on Michaela Morgan, you can lull them to sleep a little bit when you're doing that and then catch them off guard. And Haley Beal will shoot two free throws. That's the second foul on Morgan. And from here on out, Donette's in the bonus as well. Beal's free throw is good. He's had a big night tonight, that's 18 points for Haley Beal. <coughs> and Lowry is checking back into the game. She comes in for Snollis. Nope, she's gonna come in for uh, Morgan. Lead is seven, 3.32 to go in the game. And Beal's second one is also good. Donettes are eight, let's see, two, four, eight of eight here in the second half in the free throw line. <coughs> eight point lead. And that's what it lead to have, that eight of eight free throws and have an eight point lead. Lowry shot blocked, she shot a three pointer and Beal got a hand on it and Paige Eddington rebounded and was gonna throw it up the floor to Ficky and she's fouled from behind by Beal. Now Beal's got four fouls. So the two people that basically that can score for Couch both have four fouls and the other one is already fouled out. And Eddington who has had a great night at the free throw line is gonna shoot, see it'll be a one and one. That's team foul number nine. The next one will put them in the two shot bonus. This one is up no good, ball tipped around and Chester gets the rebound. Gives it to Lowry, Lowry quickly into the front court. Goes around there, man, throws it up and in. Don't let her get going again. 44-38, <clears throat> that last free throw that Eddington missed the first miss of the second half. Six point lead, Lowry has it knocked away by, I mean, Beal has it knocked away, Lowry's one on two. Takes it down, spin move, shot up off the glass and good. She's got 21, got to take care of the basketball. Lowry lucky maybe she didn't get it. I mean, she didn't foul, but doing that, she's lovely, and she almost gets another steal. Ball down low, Ficky's open. They get up with her, she's gonna take it up, no good. Gets her own rebound and puts it in. Well, that's a big, big follow up there to get her own shot. That puts the Donets back up by six. 46-40. 20 left. Lowry picks up her dribble deep on the right wing. Back out to Snollis. Now to O'Neill. Down low to Beal and she travels. <coughs> she kind of lost her footing and fell to the floor and traveled. And that'll give it back to the Donettes with a six point lead and 2.10 to go. <coughs> Lowry out front. Comes out on Beal, Beal gives it to Erica Payne. Payne back out front to Ficky, out near the volleyball line, and Beal comes back and gets the ball again. They're gonna run a motion offense here, run a delay game and look for a layup. They get it to Ficky down on the block, head fake, and then she goes up and loses it. And the ball saved in bounds and Beal gets to it. Gives it to Eddington, right back to Haley Beal. She's double teamed and Lowry takes it away from her. And Lowry going in and she puts it up and she missed it. Erica Payne done a really good job there of guarding her and not fouling her. 
and made him miss the layup. Well, he wouldn't have thought that. 122 to go, 46-40 Donets. Erica Payne with the basketball, right at that yellow volleyball line, and Coach Crowder is going to call a timeout. But his Donets on top, 46-40. 115 to go. We'll take a 60 second break and be back with this last 115. Don't leave us. Donets have a six-point lead with 1.15 to go. They've got the basketball, <laughs> and they get it inbounds to Haley Beal. Dribbles right side, gives it to Paige Eddington. Eddington now at the free throw line to Erica Payne. She'll back it back out towards midcourt. Gets it over to Haley Beal, down to one minute to go. I don't know if they're going to not foul here or not. Vicky with the basketball, gives it to Erica Payne. They let them dribble it out. They'll let them, the Donets will dribble it out if they let them. Allow <laughs> Lowry on Beal. Beal left wing to Jayla Elliff. Elliff's got it. Gives it back to Ficky. He guarded by Snollis. Hands it to Erica Payne. We're down to 36 seconds. And Chester's finally going to foul Erica Payne. <laughs> That's four fouls on Chester. So Lowry, Chester, and Emily Beal all on the floor with four fouls. So you got to. Watch who does the fouling if you're a uh, couch. And that's going to be two shots for Erica Payne as that's the 10th team foul. <coughs> she eyes up the first one, and it's good. That's two points in the ball game for Erica Payne, both of them from the free throw line now. Next one on the way, and it's good. And it's an eight-point lead for the Donettes. <coughs> They better guard Lowry behind that three-point line now. 30 seconds to go. Gets a screen, stops and pops one from way downtown. It's an air ball, goes out of bounds. And she was out there at the S on the Dons, which is a good probably eight to 10 feet behind the three-point line. Well, the Donettes will have it now. Couch is going to apply full court pressure. Elif inbounds it to Beal. And Lowry's on her. Dribbles into the front court, gives it to Ficky. Vicky is hammered. Let's see who they're calling on here. They're calling on number 32, I think. That is Jesse O'Neill. She's the one that needs to be fouling. That was only her second. Well, Vicky will shoot two. <clears throat> and it looks like the Donettes are going to get a win here. If she makes these, that'll put them up 10, 17.2 seconds to go. It's virtually impossible. I'm going to wait till after she shoots this free throw before I say what I'm going to say. But This one's good as well. The Donettes have shot lights out from the free throw line, especially in the second half. Lowry walks it up with 12 seconds to go, and they're going to call a timeout with 10.7, and the Donettes up by 10. And it looks like to me the Donettes are going to go to 3-0 and here. This is going to be a good win for them against a good team with uh, one exceptional player on it. We'll take a 30 second break and be back on KYEC. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
<coughs> well, we're winding down here. The Donettes with a 50 to 40 lead, and uh, they have only <coughs> given up 14 points this entire second half. The defense has just really, really played well, and they've shot well from the free throw line, and that is. Uh, what has made this game turn out the way it is because they were down two points at halftime. Now they have a 10 point lead. 10.7 seconds to go. They inbound it to Lowry. Just don't foul her. If she shoots it and makes it, let her make it. She's gonna run the clock out before she even shoots anyway. Finally puts it up at the buzzer and it's good. But that won't make any difference. Does get her up to 24 points on the game but the Donettes won it 50 to 43 over the Couch Lady Indians. 50-43 is our final with Donetsk moved to 3-0 on the season. And uh, we'll be back in action on Monday against the, uh, uh, let's see, I believe that's the Corning Lady Bobcats, I believe, Monday. Yes, it is. So that'll be their next game. They win this one 50-43 over the Cows Lady Indians. We'll be back after this two-minute timeout to run down the scoring and hopefully talk to Coach Chronister. So stay with us here on KYEC.